happened. Welcome <laughs> into the PHNX Sun Devil Show. <laughs> Brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook uh, app. America's <laughs> top rated sportsbook app. Don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe. Even leave a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Anthony Totri. you are. Yes, joined as always by Sean Doss. <laughs> <laughs> Shane Diefenbach has returned from yeah. his venture yeah. to Sin City. I might go back. Yeah, he has returned to nothing but shit. Guys, it is officially time for a walk of shame because the Sun Devils got destroyed. This isn't, this isn't like a normal walk of shame where, you know, you... You, you, you had a good night after this is like this is a blackout. This, yeah, yeah, this is like <laughs> you woke up in someone's <laughs> tub. <laughs> yeah, and you, you don't know who I have done that before. <laughs> you, you, you woke up in somebody's tub. You check your location. You don't know what county this is and <laughs> you don't have enough money. No, for it. you're wrong because your phone is definitely dead in this. Yeah, situation. your phone <laughs> is dead, but you, 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 your phone's so dead and you have no idea where you are. That you have to go check a map on the side of a road. No, yeah, it's just one area. of those. You just walk out the front door and yeah. you're like, uh, uh, I'm just gonna walk this direction. Yeah, you can't call a cab because you don't have a phone nor you have money. Yeah, um, you ask someone on the street where, where, for directions, they speak a different language. Yeah, you're in Tokyo. Yeah. That'd be crazy. You he's on like your elbow or something. <laughs> <laughs> Final yeah, score, guys. Somebody got one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Final score. 97 to 60. We were hoping for 100 to 60. We were, I was hoping for 100 to 40. Yeah, that would have been, that would have been crazy. Something that sounds like a video game type score. Um, despite the ugliness of this game, there's definitely some things we can get into. Um, there? There is, there is definitely. Before we do so, though, guys, instant reaction to just not showing up tonight. Um, (laughs) you know, the, you guys have played Wii Sports before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Chat, I'm sure you have. You know, the first level you play in boxing. Where you're just piecing a m- mm-hmm. m- some dude. Yeah. Just, poof, poof. That was ASU on the other end tonight. Just yeah. dish, dish, and they go down and then they somehow get back up, but they like pull their lifeless body up and poof, poof. what's that, that soccer and, meme? And and, and and USF was Matt. Do you know what that soccer meme is? Where what? the guy just gets kicked in the face repeatedly with a soccer ball? Mm. Mm. No. <laughs> I hate you guys so much. No, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, what was the reaction? Oh, like wait, for can you we tonight? just do this? That wasn't basketball tonight. Uh, no. We gotta get that away. That was not basketball. Okay. I also uh, want to take this off because there's no cheer. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to be happy about. It's Everybody not- on audio is referring to the holiday um, advent oh, calendar. Oh, uh, Santa isn't real and Christmas has been canceled. Mm, there you go. There you go. For all Sorry. the children out there, you heard it here first. <laughs> Santa, not coming. Uh, you know, so Santa did exist at one point. Yeah. But, but not this San year. Francisco just killed him. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Because they are apparently the takers of all. So is that what that was like for for you tonight? Was tonight pretty much like the first time you heard that Santa wasn't real? It was like when my parents got divorced. Oh Terrible. shit! Okay. Terrible. What was that like, Sean? <laughs> Not fun at all. <laughs> at all. <laughs> At all, it was terrible. Sean sure, just got way too deep. <laughs> I'm just getting real with you. It's not. It's not oh. fun. It's not. It was. I mean, there's nothing to talk about in this game at all. The defense disappeared. They shot the like. Amazing. I don't know. Prime Warriors, KD Warriors, like it was. I you, I, I don't think you can really take anything away from this game because it was an uncharacteristically bad defensive performance, and they shot. I would assume their best game of the year, and part of that is because ASU wasn't playing good defense. Part of it is also because they had fucking Kevin Herter on their team yeah. and Grand Theft Auto. They had a bunch of fucking NBA players yeah. apparently, and they turned into the greatest team of all time. I, shrug. It, it it was a perfect storm for ASU. It was just it was chaos. You know, they 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 couldn't hit shots early, and it, it you know that Bobby Hurley type team when it comes to conference play after hot starts kind of crept back in where, you, you, like last year, you know they they give up ten straight buckets or ten straight points even, and then you're like, I don't know where the offense is coming from. The team doesn't know where the offense is coming from. This game is over. Like it it just it felt like that from the jump. The the. The, there was they there was no point in the game where ASU led. It was tied for like two minutes and thirty seconds, I believe, and it was over immediately. And it was yeah. tied at zero zero. Yeah, yeah. I, I was hey, the game was over before halftime. It was damn near <clears> over <throat> before they tip. Like yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was bad immediately. Yeah, USF starting on a sixteen to two run, uh, and it we've seen ASU come back from games like this. Right, we've talked at length about how this team's never really out of a game, and how the offense has started slow in a lot of these contests and. When the offense starts strong, you get results like the Michigan game, um, which at this point, look, 
ASU's offense hasn't put out a performance like that from start to finish, I would argue, outside of that Michigan game. Yeah. Right. You look at the game that they had against San Diego, and while it was a tale of two halves, right, like we talked about, like it was all Des in the first half, and then everybody decided to show up in the second half. This is what you get when the the one guy on ASU's offense that A can either create a shot or just simply the one guy like a DJ Horn or a Frankie Collins that can just get things going. Yeah. When that doesn't happen, this is what you get. And I mean it's ASU. not just like I, I don't want to try and excuse this loss because Des being gone. Doesn't really like. It doesn't, it doesn't make excuse up this. for thirty-seven. But points. I will say, and I mentioned this to somebody on Twitter, like we had DJ on the show the other day, and he said, like he said, Des is their energy guy. Like you, Des walks into the gym, and there is no like, th- there is no like, everyone's got energy at that point, point. Yeah. and they clearly were lacking energy, like off rip, and so I, it obviously doesn't excuse you losing by forty points, or whatever it was. What did it end up? Yeah, thirty-seven. 37. Um. They're down by fifty. Yeah, it doesn't excuse that, but it's. I think part of why they at least started slow is they they, they had no energy. <laughs> yeah, and I, I don't like. And they mentioned on the broadcast a few times. I don't think they looked past San Francisco because looking past San Francisco gets you a fifteen point loss. Yeah, you. This you, is just everything. Past wrong. San Francisco, you get in a hole that you can't dig out of enough. Yeah, you know, like you to, fight back. Yeah. And, but it's just not. It's it, too little, too late. Yeah, they were. Flat. This was too little the entire time. Yeah, they, they were flat the entire game. Um, there was almost nothing promising offensively for. The entire game. Yeah. Defense. Literally nothing positive to take away. This is a team that holds opponents to sub 28% from the three-point line. Nine in, nine out. We'll get to the numbers, but they shot a lot better than that. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, and credit to San Francisco, right? Like, they had... I know in the first half, we're like, there's no way they're going to keep shooting this well. And they did. They shot that well the entire game. Um, shout out Kevin Herter. Shout out Alvarado, like they had themselves some some games tonight. Shout out to Shabazz Muhammad. Yes, Napier. Shabazz Muhammad had himself a hell of a game. <laughs> um, or Shabazz Napier, yeah. whichever one you want. They uh, they just they played their asses off tonight. They wanted a little bit more. Um, I do want to get into some of the comments before we get into the numbers. I believe Sid up top a little bit asking a question that we might as well just get into right now. No. They still deserve to be ranked no, too inconsistent no, offensively. Oh no, absolutely not. No, they, yeah, you they, lose your number. They they, they, they were holding on to the plateau that is rank. Rank yeah. time, <laughs> rank rank land, and they've they've gotten they got stomped yeah. on, spit on, and set on fire. And I mean, you, you get banished it, from rank. Land. You get it back when you go if you go and beat at U of A. But why would you? Why would nothing you have from any tonight, reason to believe exactly yeah, nothing that from they tonight would, makes you believe they beat U of A. They'll if, even compete against U of A. If you remember last year, they got hot going into to the Christmas break, mm-hmm. and then they played awful after it. Yep. And Bobby said a great I quote: Christmas "I wish Christmas exist. didn't exist." Uh, now you, I bet you do. Well, now, now it's it, this could be a good thing. Yeah. You know, um, Peter in the chat, a lot of people thinking, you know, they're, they might be all sick, whatever. Even if they're not, they were healthy enough to play. They're healthy enough to play. But if they are, then you have that time to kind of reset and yeah. relax. Yeah. I yeah. mean, like that, like it's, this is a game you completely throw away. Yeah. I don't think you, you don't watch film. You don't talk about no. it. You like you just get on the bus, get to the airport, yeah. get your ass home, do some homework, put it behind you. Finally, eat Bobby. I don't know. Yeah, Bob. Poor Bobby. Bob, man. Finally, Bobby eat, needs comma, to eat. Bobby. Don't don't eat Bobby. <laughs> Let's not resort to cannibalism I mean, after shit, a bad loss. At this point, eat Bobby. <laughs> Can you imagine being Bobby and not eating all day to lose by thirty-seven and then get tossed? No, that would be so. <laughs> awful. Maybe he was just really hungry. That would be such a bad day. You think he got tossed because he wanted to go eat? He's like, this was yeah. this one's over. No, he wanted to toss because he didn't want to watch any more any more of that shit show. Yeah, that was bad. Let's get to the numbers. Obviously, the, the only one that matters is None USF, matters. 97 to 60, obviously. Um, in terms of field goal percentage, it was an absolute just bludgeon tonight. 57% in favor of the Dons to 27.9 for the Sun Devils. Same thing from behind the arc. It was just a giant discrepancy. 51% from behind the arc for the Dons, 19% for ASU. Rebounding numbers. Much closer, 45 for San Francisco, 40 for Arizona State. Then the assist numbers, man, just absolutely awful. Just 8 for ASU to 22 for San Francisco. Uh, Sean, you could choose just about any one of these numbers, and you would have a valid reason as to why it was the more important number tonight. Yeah, I mean, the assist thing sucks because I, it just shows this team is not. This wasn't the ASU that we've seen for the other 12 games. They They were not a team. They weren't cohesive at all. Um, and like, yeah, they were, they, they didn't look like a team. They didn't look like they even deserved to be 
playing Division One basketball tonight. So it's like, I don't know. None, none, none of those. None, that, none, this doesn't mean anything to me. It was. It sucked. I'm gonna forget about it and mm. move on. There's gonna be a lot of negativity over the next ten days. Yeah. Yeah. There's a However, lot of time for it to be. I, I don't want this to take away from what this team has done this season. Yeah. I mean, like I said earlier, I, I if you asked me before the season what their record would be going into this Arizona game, I would have said t- eleven and two. Right, that's where they're at now, eleven and two. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's exactly what I would have said. Still a top. The only pack difference is, I would have said they would have lost two really good teams in Michigan and Creighton, and beaten these two team bad teams that they've lost. San Francisco is not bad. Texas Southern is bad. Te- San Francisco is not bad, but they are where I expected them to be. Only difference is, I think I expected them to have a little more momentum going into the Arizona game, but they're they're exactly the same record I would have expected. Yeah, look, still atop the Pac-12. I know they're <laughs> yeah, yeah baby. That's, that's the only thing that matters. Non-conference doesn't mean shit. No. It doesn't. Look, yeah, it does, I'll take but... it. Eleven and two. Okay, there is a lot to still play for, and like I said, there's gonna be people on social media. There's gonna be people in the chat. There's gonna be people everywhere that are like, "What the hell happened? The season's over. Burn it. It's on fire. It's not. You've lost two games. Conference play is getting ready to go. You're gonna get your guys back. You're gonna get them healthy, and then you've got conference play. This is yeah. still a top four team in the conference, yep. in my estimation. I imagine you guys agree. Yeah, this is yeah. still a I, top like, four I, team in the Pac-12. This game means nothing to me. No, you flush it every look. Bad, bad games teams happen. don't lose this bad. Bad teams don't lose this bad. They don't lose by thirty-seven, but U of A <laughs> lost by twenty. <laughs> Fair. Just saying for all the for all the Wildcats in the chat, y'all are gonna be real quick to say ASU this, ASU that. Why go back a couple weeks? You guys got your ass kicked by Utah. I'm not just saying. Yeah, I'm, hmm. just saying. Just yeah, saying. Yeah, I know it's different. It's, I know it's different. But look, every team loses. This is why U of A. Every team in college so. basketball loses. They lose games, okay? Some of them are going to be better losses than other. Like, that's just that's just it, okay? Hey, we had a really good signing day today. Did have a really good signing. We're going to get into that in a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. You playing the show? I'm, I'm starting the show back <laughs> That's over. crazy. That's absolutely can you, can crazy. Can you start the day over? Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's not go that far. Um, I do want to get into a little bit of good news. A little holiday cheer, okay? Four Peaks. Ooh. We've got something for you guys. Okay, you guys can join us at the inaugural PHNX Tea Party presented by Four Peaks at Dobson Ranch Golf Course. Take place January 13th. Guys, we're running out the entire driving range. Come hang with Big Drive Energy, all of us and fellow diehards for a night of golf. Can you finish this while the ad's going? Food, drinks, contest, prizes, and more. And guess what? Our PHNX Suns crew is going to be hosting a watch party for the Suns versus the T-Wolves. Four Peaks will be out there providing beer samples and swag check the link in the description to reserve your guys a spot right now and for our diehards check discord for your special link where you guys are going to save 20 percent on this amazing event how's that taste um i want to say good but i don't think anything can make this night taste good mm. just kidding it can a little hot not ipa first thing that's put my sm- a smile on my face in the last Whoa. like three hours wow that's crazy well, guess what? Put a smile on my also face put today. Put a beer on my sweater, but <laughs> guess what? Put a smile there. on my face yes. today. Did you again? Yeah. Yes, but I did. He, want, he deserved. He I earned deserved it today. It. I earned it today. He earned Burrito Express. Can I you tell people it. how you earned Burrito Express? Uh, yeah. I actually. This is totally ironic. I helped Max in an underdog fantasy, like uh, pick him. Not a pick him. So every Tuesday they do trivia on their Instagram. Oh yeah. And so I helped him get the answer. What was the question? It was which player. Hasn't scored since week eight, has had back-to-back total 100-yard games only once a season, and had their best fantasy performance of their career this year. Um, Did it give you a position? No. Hasn't scored since week eight. Best fantasy performance of the season, back-to-back 100-yard games. Uh, That's tough. And I got it in six minutes. Khalil Herbert. Ew. Khalil Herbert, baby, look. Well, he you hasn't guys, played since week nine. Well, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's coming back this week, so yeah, it was yes. all a little bit of a thing, guys. If you want to be happy, go get Burrito Express. They got yeah. locations just about everywhere. And if you want to make some money, do it on the Underdog Fantasy app, guys. It's easy to get started. Go to underdogfantasy.com or download the app. Sign up with promo code PHNX and Underdog is going to match your first deposit up to $100. It is officially time for some bottle service real tonight. Quick, real quick, I got yeah, bad quick, news. Quick. Oh, no. Cal won a game. Cal yeah. won? Yeah. Yeah, they beat UT Arlington. That's so crazy. That and UT Arlington just beat USF. Yes. Um, also, <laughs> Utah, Utah almost got a big win for the conference. So they lost I like didn't four put that together, Dill, just now. Yeah. What? Oh, my God. Yeah. That's crazy. 
College basketball. I want to throw up. Crazy. And it's not just because I just chugged a beer. Hmm. That's fair. Uh, bottle service. Nobody on the team deserves bottle service tonight. Nobody no. in that in that arena. Bobby Hurley Jr. Maybe. Nobody in no. the arena deserves bottle service no. tonight. So Shane, who's getting it? Um, the only good thing that happened with ASU today, and how was it? Was signing day? It was and, early uh, signing day. Kenny Flippingham. There he good, is. Good stuff. Uh, Fourteen signees today. Number three transfer class in the nation, only behind Michigan and Michigan State. Yeah. That's a good thing. Positives. Dilly Dilly, he's doing work. 14 high school signees from all over yep. today. I believe three from California, handful from Arizona, five from Texas, five from Texas two from Louisiana. Got a couple four-star guys. Teammates from Louisiana, too. Let's, I mean, look, we're going to get into the whole signing stuff tomorrow. But for, for this guy to have the number three transfer class and get 14 high school signees in a matter of three weeks on the job, that's saying something. Yep. People yep. want to come play for him. Yeah. So that's definitely exciting. Um, and also, yes, a lot of those recruits are in-state recruits. And people say you can't recruit in-state. Or the transfers, I mean. It's the number three transfer yeah. class in the country. Yeah. Very true. Behind Michigan and Michigan State. Um, are we going back to basketball? We are. Jack Lauder, uh, shout out, is there right now. And he said, Bobby Hurley just said exactly what we're all thinking. Um, quote, this is one of those games you don't even watch. You just forget it. Yep. You have to. You have to. They said it on the broadcast, right? They're literally like... It was, they couldn't believe what was happening. Both teams, if you watched them warm up, like ASU was fine. They were going through their usual prep, defensive assignments offensively, and, and it, it just came out, and it was flat from start mm -hmm. to finish. It was absolutely flat. You look at some of the numbers, just of the individual scores, right? Warren only had two points tonight on two shots, and it was that little hook that he had in the first half. Frankie Collins, eight points, three of 16 from the field, 0 of three from behind the arc. And two of seven from the charity stripe. That that's just not good enough. Like flat out, that's not good enough. Jemiah, eleven points. It didn't even feel like he had eleven. DJ Horn with twelve on fifteen shots. Devin Cambridge, six points and a tech. Like, like Bobby said, you just gotta wipe it away. Yeah. Like you can't let that's that's something every every game, right? We say, okay, they gotta get back to neutral. They gotta get back to neutral. After a big win, big win, back to neutral. You get ranked. Okay, back to neutral. It's the same thing. Yeah. You just lost, got your ass kicked neutral. on the road. Wife it get back to neutral. On. Yep. And good coaches get their teams there. So this is another test for Bobby, right? Can you get your team level ahead of the biggest game of the season on New Year's Eve against your in-state rival at home? You know something I love about Bobby is he uses texts like hockey players use fights. Sometimes things are just bad, and he's yep. just like, I got to do something. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the yell if it means trying to inspire the team. And hopefully his ejection kind of does that, right? Like, I, I mean, I don't think there's ever any doubts about, like, him supporting his team or anything like that, right? Like, I think that these players obviously play for him. Of course. But I think seeing something like that, seeing that even things are terrible, they're getting blown out. Nothing at this, at this point in the game even matters, and he's still sticking up to his player, for his players to the point where he gets ejected. I think that's, I think that's good for the players to see. That yeah. He, he never checked out of this game. Well, I mean, he got thrown out, but he never checked out of the game. So, And it's not like, look, watching this game back, ASU, in reality, from an offensive standpoint, the, the shots were not falling. Yes, they were playing bad offense and they couldn't create a shot, but in terms of, like, possession, they only had nine turnovers tonight. It's not like they were playing super sloppy basketball. Sometimes, uh, in terms of I, turning the ball over, yeah. loose with the ball. Yeah, well, they basically turn the ball over to every time they put up a shot, so... Yeah, the, the 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 shot selection was terrible. The offense was awful. There's no movement. Lots of desperation heaves. Frankie Collins looked like game. It looked one. like last year's offense. He, Frankie Collins looked like game one. Frankie Collins. He just yeah. He, I, I, again, I don't know what's going on. I don't know about sickness, whatever. But plain and simple, if you are the starting point guard of a Power Five team and you want to consider yourself as a you know, preseason top point guard of the nation watch list guy, then you got to be fucking better. Yeah. He just does. He does. I don't care how bad your team is playing around you. You are the head of the snake. He's called himself that. You got to be better. He yeah. has to be better. And I'm sure that. he would say he'd that. own it. Yeah, he'd yeah, own he'll, it. He'll say that. But everyone needs to be better. DJ needs to fucking show up yeah. somewhere. Like, he needs to. Warren Washington, I said at the beginning of the game, this was a big game for him because he was playing a guy his, his height and thicker. I wanted to see what he did against someone his size. Yeah. And he did jack shit. He and that doesn't shit. bode well 
when you're when playing you've Umar got Ballo exactly. Next, next exactly. game. Exactly. Oh. And that's what I've been worried about all year with this game. That's oh. a 2020 oh. performance if you play the way you and, did. You know, the other guy, two Bellas. Yeah. And the, they, they have the best front court in the nation. And you're you're going to have to this put is, a body on like, somebody. Yeah. I, I think like if you're on the team, right? This is the game you throw away, you move on, you forget about. Fans won't. And if I'm, as an ASU fan, zero reason to believe they'll even compete against U of A after a performance like this. Well, after, uh, based on this performance, yeah, what I'm saying. You're just, but, but that's not basketball. You're not basing it on just this performance. You go back and look at some of the best games they've had. So what got them to, to, to win those games? And it's turning teams like U of A over. You know, yeah. you, you saw them compete in the first half of last year's game by turning U of A over. You said, you know, a couple, a couple hold on now is like, it can happen, and yeah. you just, and it, this team I think is good enough where you don't have to catch them on a bad night because you can force them to have a bad night with yeah. your defense. You know, hit a couple transition threes. This first game, you know, it, it it's it's gonna but, be huge yeah. because you you can have the crowd behind you. But part but part of what I'm saying is like talked to DJ last week. He was asking people to get out there. After a performance like this, that's not gonna encourage people to go yeah, support well, this team. People will show, and you know how fickle ASU fans can be. Well, yeah, like. That, that 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 to me is the worst part of this is even though most of I think like we and the team are smart enough to move on like and just kind of push this aside a lot of fans are just going to look at the score and be like it's ASU again I don't want them there then yeah that's fair that's fair it's yeah not great BTH in the chat ASU just went from 34 to 55 on Kempom yeah, this was um, a, a team that was deep in the 100s on net rankings yeah not great but like we've said you got to move on you absolutely have to move on. This is like a, a situation ship that lasted like a solid two weeks. You can't read too much into it. Got to put it behind you. Move on. There's more fish in the sea. There's more games to be played here. Uh, you, you you can't mope around and spend the holidays just thinking about this this awful loss. Like, yeah. it's over with. I mean, to back what Shane said earlier, like, these people are going to get to go home, right? These guys are going to get to go home, spend time with their families, like, actually focus on things that are more important than basketball. Um and I think that is good for the team. I think that's very, very good for the team. Yeah. Do you think they almost got too much into it? You think that's a thing? What do you mean? Too much into what? You can almost spend too much time focusing on something that you overanalyze it. You overprepare for something. See, overprepare for San Francisco? Uh, Absolutely I, not. I don't think you can. I don't think there's a reason this, uh, Look, this. guys. But, uh, exactly. There there was nothing from a scheme standpoint that tried to, Oh, they they just weren't ready for. Yeah, they for, didn't do anything differently, yeah, really. For for the 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 pressure that they gave to them in the, in the full court, they weren't ready for a true seven footer. They weren't. Re- it wasn't that. It, it was it was an avalanche of three after three yeah. after turnover after bad San shots Francisco after was, bad possession yeah. after empty offense. Like it wasn't anything that they exploited or that or that ASU just didn't see. It was just a shitty game. You flush them. It's fine. Okay, yeah. one more question on on that kind of front. Des obviously it hurt not having him out there tonight, and I know it's not a thirty-seven point difference. Do you think at all coming back in this U of A game in in ten days or so that how, like how is he going to balance the idea in his head of like okay I need to do something I need to make sure that we start I, off. Strong. I mean he was already that guy though kind of not like, necessarily he was, he, was but he, he didn't play well at the start of the season. That's, yeah. not, that's not how Bobby's teams like want to be ran like it's. Yeah. I think I think look the biggest thing that if you're Bobby Hurley and you realize that oh my god this team doesn't have a shot creator outside of Desmond Cambridge Frankie Collins can have a good night here and there but nobody can get their own shot how do you fix that what do you do in practice do you give confidence to Frankie and say go get you and I don't even know if he needs confidence because he had it all the night it, it, it's 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 something that this team you know we saw at the start of the season and when Dez started, you know, having twenty point performance after twenty four performance, you're like, okay, you have that guy that can create their own shot. But uh, let's not even talk about the bench. Like the the, the other starting five tonight, nobody can get their own shot. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, 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 it sucks that I feel like I need to depend on a freshman this much. But Austin is the only other kid I've seen all year that at, at any point has, from whistle to whistle, been able to create his own shot and like play good offensive basketball in that way and he only did it like twice in new york city but i've seen that he's capable of it and i i, I would like him to do it again there are points like where DJ he looks to scared it. to shoot though yeah there's I mean, a freshman he, like a freshman 
here's he's just got to let it fly though. Here, down here, 20 man here's yeah. something that you, you you don't notice that this team doesn't have a shot creator when you're running in transition and you're forcing turnovers get yeah. back to your brand of basketball you'll win a lot more games and also don't let dev uh dribble the basketball over again yeah yeah just and, alley-oops and blocks please. and yeah it's over it's over the holiday season is upon us okay just a couple days till christmas i can't believe we've talked about this i can't believe it's almost christmas, christmas doesn't exist it doesn't exist? No. Santa, no, it's been that, canceled this yeah. year. Well, Santa doesn't exist. San Francisco but... canceled it. No, Santa did exist. No, Christmas exists. San, yeah, no, no, no. Santa San Francisco has canceled everything. Santa, Santa might, might still exist. He just might be kidnapped. Yeah, he's being held prisoner. Yeah. Dude, a Liam Neeson movie trying to get back Santa. I think oh. we're going to see violence, uh, Violent Night. Violent Night? Yeah. I, my, my parents thought they said it was good. Really? Said yeah. it was entertaining. They, it did its job. Yeah, fair enough. I want to see the new Will Ferrell one on Apple. Mm. Mm. Violent Night. I had a dream that I, that I was watching it last night, and I liked it. But I, I, I haven't seen any preview for it. I have no idea what it's about. But I enjoyed the movie I like in my that. dream. You heard it here but, first, guys. Violent Night does its job as a movie. <laughs> and more <laughs> furniture does its job as a furniture. I think it goes above and beyond its job. Yeah. You're right. Absolutely. Of the week. Like, you do your job. He goes above and beyond. I don't think that's That's fair. fucking crazy. <laughs> guys, the holiday <laughs> clearance event and more furniture. Season. I do my job. You guys go above and beyond. Okay. I don't We've got something, to get, we've got something also, to get into with him think, in a little bit. Oh, do we? Uh, yes, we do. The holiday clearance event is happening at More Furniture, and you guys can save up to 50% off if you're looking for a last-minute holiday gift for family, friends, or maybe some mediocre co-workers, guys. Go check out More Furniture. They got the comfiest of furniture, recliners, chairs, everything you need for an apartment, a living room. Ottomans. A kitchen, an ottoman if you're looking for one of those, I guess. Morefurniture.com. Again, I agree. The holiday clearance event happening. More furniture. I love a good ottoman. And you guys can save up to fifty. But not the empire. Percent. Frauds. The ottoman no, empire is the most a fraudulent. Wagon for a while. What it, do you but, mean? But, but eventually a fraud. What are you doing? Yeah, but so is Rome. Yeah, facts. Yeah, you know. You done? Uh, all yeah. things come to an end. Is he done? You done? Um, I got a fuck Dan Lanning. Mm. Oh, he, 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 post, he just posted a video of him smoking a cigar. Just fuck off. Okay. I get you're good at your job. Fuck off. I mean, Oregon is was good before him, and they'll be good without him. I know, but it's like, a chase that he's good at his job. Yeah, I guess you're right. Whatever. Uh, let's get an aftertaste. Sean, I'm going to start with you, buddy. What was drained into your passageway this evening? Um, it was like a drain. Like, you know how sometimes they get like really weird flavors, like very experimental flavors? Mm. It was like they distilled my parents' divorce into a bottle, <laughs> and I was forced to drink it. Lay's parents' divorce flavor. That is... <laughs> Yeah, man. Why? Lay's Mo- getting weird. Mom with it. screaming at dad in the other room. Flavored chips. Oh shit! Yes, <laughs> it's precisely. Crazy. It's mm. crazy. What about you, Shane? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you beat that, man. Uh, uh, Tastes uh, like divorce, is what he said. <laughs> Bump. <laughs> Bump. <laughs> this tastes like um divorce. No. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes like you drank too much vodka, um, the night before, like a ridiculous amount of mm. vodka. And you wake up, and you taste vodka, and you go about your day, go to sleep, you wake up the next day, and it still tastes like vodka. And for the entire, <laughs> the entire week. We won't. <laughs> the entire week. It just tastes do you, do you like, have, like nasty Smirnoff vodka. What's the, hold on, keep talking, what? keep talking. Well, it just tastes like vodka, that's what, I mean, I can't be divorced. It tastes like, I never thought I'd say no, that. You could have used Tina's <laughs> It doesn't taste like piss. <laughs> I feel like some people drink their piss to stay alive. That's true. This I wouldn't I don't drink think it to do stay it alive. Does Tina no. have pararesis? Is that the fear of piss? It's the fear of pee-pee. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Not great. Fear of TT. Um, <laughs> Jose dry heaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had man. something to say, but I totally forgot now. About basketball? I don't know. Dude, why, I, I, oh, I, I, no. You know what this tastes like? This tastes like you're like nine dre- drinks deep, deep in Vegas. Nine drinks deep. Nip, uh, because I was just there, and you're hitting a slot machine and you're just losing coin. But you're like, like when you're Cameron was playing the phonies, and you're like, it can't get any worse, it can't get any worse, it does, it's getting worse. Oh my god, I'm out of Uh money. It's let's go get a credit check. What are we doing? Oh boy, I owe people money. (laughs) My parents got divorced. My boss is coming for me. (laughs) Oh my goodness, we've got more to get into in terms of the game. (laughs) We've got more in terms of the game to get into, but I do want to take a pause, guys. We talked about this, did we? we so did. is this you? This is what we have okay. to deal with you. Um, Drew Pine is an Arizona State front. He is. Why does shit happen every time oh, you yeah. leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time Help. you leave, something happens. If, if, but, okay, have you ever thought about this? What if I'm the one pulling the strings? What if I went to South Bend? I was never in Vegas. Did you see any pictures of me in Vegas? Yes. Yeah. Photoshopped. Oh, okay. 
You oh, went dude, to I have Bend. a Photoshop story real quick when you're when this is yeah. conversation's done. So what if I'm pulling the strings? That would make you odd. Pinocchio. No. That wouldn't make you Pinocchio. That okay, would make you the Pinocchio. puppet master. Oh. You, Marionette. You have his mustache. The, the Pinocchios or <laughs> No. Oh, Does Pinocchio Geppetto? have a mustache. He's a boy. No, Geppetto. He's Geppetto. not a boy. Yeah, he is. No, he's, he's a, not. He's, he's not a real boy. boy. No, he is boy. not. He is a wooden what does, make, what does that make you? He he was a wooden thing and then he became a real boy. <laughs> Photoshop story real quick. Did you see LeBron James Instagram post? No. No. So he it was a picture of him in Sacramento shooting by himself in the arena with alone and it's got like the the Chiron thing like the big board yeah. and it says Kings and he photoshopped the S out of Kings and by Photoshop I mean he scribbled over it so it's just his king <laughs> it's kind of far <laughs> it is the most LeBron thing ever yeah. I appreciate your your <laughs> sorry by the way Tina <laughs> Oh my! For everybody on audio, this is worth reading out loud. Tina in the chat. <laughs> Sorry about, about your parents, parents Sean. Sean. Yeah, Period. it's okay. How long did go that happen? Uh, like, what was what are we year? We want to get into uh, it. Twenty years ago. <laughs> no, you don't. That's get crazy it. that anything in my life could have happened twenty years ago. That seems ridiculous to me. Oh, that you're old enough to have that? Yeah, a memory from twenty years ago. Okay. Well, maybe in twenty years we'll have memories. The ice maker, Jacob. Jacob looking around at like at a noise from the ice maker as if it hasn't been doing that for the last three months that we've been in this office. Damn, relax. Jacob doesn't saying. deserve this. I know. Everyone's gonna get bodies, body strays. Everyone's gonna get them. Oh my gosh! Don't don't, a... don't 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 do not <laughs> do not. What? I swear to God, do not. The comma? No, 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 no. no He's gonna say a story, and I do not want him to tell it. I want him to tell it. No, 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 no. Yes, you don't. I, do. I, yes, I promise. I no, stop it. Stop it. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Do not let Totri speak. If he if he tells a story, I'm getting off the show. I'm going home. I swear to God. I swear on my life. If he I tells tell, a story, I can tell it's really bad because I can see his veins. If, in his forehead. if he tells a story, I I promise you, Jake. I, I'm I am can you, leaving. Can you save it for the end of the show? I'll just tell you later. Yes, thank I you. I want it on air. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Is that bad? Yes, Let's talk I don't about want illegal pizza, guys. Let's talk about illegal pizza. You'll it's, see it's, after it's the show. It's semi white see. Uh, guys, we're I'll excited to welcome show. illegal pizza to yeah, the HNX family. Check out their location off of Mill in Tempe. Plus, when you guys purchase $100 in gift cards, they're going to throw in a $25 one on the house. So you're getting money while you're spending money. And guys, be on the lookout for a few informal happy hours with us. And look, if ASU basketball continues to play poorly, we're going to need those drinks at Illegal Pete's. And hey, if they play well, we'll be celebrating at Illegal Pete's as well. Yeah, it's, it's super exciting with Illegal Pete's in the fold. Really good food. Um, great bar. Great way to um, celebrate. Great way to drown out your sorrows. Yeah. yeah. And um, another thing I like to do to drown out my sorrows is to golf. Mm. Um, it's, it's relaxing most. The thing, the, 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 the gray area with golf for me is like if I try too hard to get a low enough score, then I'm not relaxing and I'm just angry. I My golf strategy is just look good. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> how do you do that? Yeah. Bad birdie. Duh. Bad birdie golf.com. He's yes, got PHNX Sports 15 for 15% per off. off at badbirdygolf.com. Um, Ten days away, boys, we're going to be are, wearing them again. Are, are we bringing it out for New Year's It's Eve? a bad birdie. We have to. It yeah. has to be. We have no choice. Yep. We need all the help we can get. Absolutely. And everybody, too, if you guys have bad birdie, or if you got some for Christmas, man, wear it. ASU is going to absolutely need all the help they can get on December 31st. Yeah, and go get some if you don't. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shane, it is time for that time. It is time for the lyric of the game. do 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 Today's lyric of the game comes from Break Ends. Just dropped a great album if you want to go ahead and listen to it. Uh, lyric is from the song Teeth. It goes, lurk till the birds chirp, um, sigh and repeat. I hit control, I'll delete. Because not only does do you have to sigh and repeat when stuff like this happens after after or right before, or after out of conference play or right before non-conference play or during conference play, it just feels like this keeps happening. Um, but when a loss this bet happens, control, I'll delete that bitch and get it out of here. Yeah. It's tough, man. Mm -hmm. It is. But you really just have to flush it. You have to. And it, and I think, uh, you know, you don't want this momentum going into U of A, but you wouldn't really have any momentum going into U of A with the amount of time you have off. You have 10 whole days. 10 whole days to prepare. Would you rather them have games in between? No. Not after a loss like this. No. Because then it can snowball. Keep it yeah, fresh. I'd rather the time. Mm -hmm. Let them kind of just move away from it. Plus, get everybody healthy. Have a little vengeance. Yeah. That's I don't think it's the worst fair. thing. Absolutely fair. Let's get into the Bobby board. Um, this is no this is tough. Bobby. This no has become one of my Bobby's. favorite parts of the show, especially on post games. And we don't get a Bobby face tonight. What's your favorite Bobby up there? 
I, I uh, right the now. Creighton one. Yeah, Creighton Bobby is the best Bobby. Yeah, I think so. Too. Looks like the Elmo meme when everything's <laughs> yeah. on fire. Uh, but yeah, we don't get we don't get a uh, a Bobby face before Christmas, but which is kind of sad. <laughs> to pull something from Coyotes, we always look for patterns in their punch card. Yeah, hopefully the pattern is one loss a row. That would be hot. That'd be really it. really hot. I'll take it. Yeah, and that means you would beat U of A, and you, I mean, you dominate the start of conference play. You'd absolutely dominate the start of conference. Five and zero to start the conference. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, again, just to round everything out, you got to flush it away. Players didn't play well tonight. Doesn't matter who you were. No starter played well. Um, nobody on the roster played well. Bobby Jr. Um, somebody want to check out Desmond Cambridge's Twitter? Oh, no. According to, to Pete in the chat, he's got, he's getting fired up, which, um, let's see. Could be interesting. He tweeted, he tweeted, very, very few, few have, okay, well, go ahead. very few have believed in us since I stepped foot on campus and I have no problem with with that, because I'm used to it. If today's performance puts you off, puts you off us, cool. Just make sure to make sure you stay on that side, because it was never genuine. Peace, love, and positivity. Hashtag or hashtag peace, love, and positivity. Hashtag forks up. Is exactly what you said earlier. Yeah. If you're gonna be a Fairweather fan, we don't want you. Yeah. And if we you're gonna look you. at the score and say this team sucks, you suck. Sorry. Yeah. Look, it's sports. It's college sports, man. It's it's. I mean, not even college sports. All sports. This is this is why you love all those sports, sports, right? In all city. Cities, all city network, PHNX, subscribe. Okay, that, <laughs> I was, get out of here. that was, a, was a stretch. Before we get out of here, I do want to do one more thing. Tell a story? Okay. No, I don't want to tell a story. I'm not going to do this, Sean. Is it that bad? It's not that bad, it's not Sean. That bad. I just don't really feel like it being... We'll talk about it afterwards. You well, can make it better I, for your own. Um, if, it, if, if, if it's not that bad, we'll tell it tomorrow. Okay. Um, Tune in tomorrow. So what we're going to do real quick. Okay. We're going to go around. Okay. We're going to start with you. Okay. okay. And... I want you oh, no. to look us in the face. ASU had a bad game tonight. They're going to flush it, and they're going to move on. You're going to tell Sean and I what the least manly thing about us is, or the what you dislike the most about us. I don't see gender. Look, okay. The least, what you dislike the most about us, and we're going to flush it and move on. And then we're going to do the same to you. That's It's how we relate. Why are you both oh, dragging me? Relate. Why did you relate? drag me how into this? I'm not a fucking masochist. Listen, what are we listen, doing? Listen. Go ahead. Were we in therapy? Yes, we are. I hate this. So I don't want starting. You parents start. Parents therapy. You start. What I dislike about you? Yep. It's going to hurt. Yeah. Oh, you got to have to flush it just okay. like this. Okay. What I dislike about you. Here we go. Oh, man. Sean, your parents are divorced. <laughs> I mean, you can't really control that. <laughs> um, uh, Shane, mm. I dislike... <laughs> That you throw the Nerf football. Um, See, that's not real. Okay. You know what I dislike? Yeah. I dislike that your legs are longer than mine. It's not real either. That is also real. What the, what the fuck do you mean? Short, I guess. That's why I said you go first. Why? What do you Coach, mean why? I don't like that you start sentences without knowing how they're going to end. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's um, totally I got fair. one for both of you. I don't like um, how much you guys talk over each other. Mm. 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 <laughs> that got deep. Not really. Mm. Yeah. No. To quote Sean, I don't care Sean? about your opinion enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, do I have one for Sean? Yeah. Um, I hate how cute you are. Mm. Oh, I, I, no. This is fun, guys. I, I don't know if I have one. Why did you do this? Yeah. I don't know. I really don't he, know. He like brought this up like he had like yeah, a plan. I want, no, like I an didn't. agenda that he wanted no, to push. I didn't. Um, I hate that you did this to us and made us yeah. stay, uh -huh. sit in these chairs longer than we needed to. Mm. That's totally fair. I got nothing, guys. If you enjoyed the show, give us a follow. I was the only person that had to actually air something out. Amazing. Give us a follow. Sean, what do you got? About what? About I already said Totris. What's his? Yeah. I don't like that you wear New Balance. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's fucked up. Is kidding. it really? Oh, I, I don't like how often you take off your fucking shoes. We'll see you next time. <laughs> give us a follow at PHNX underscore Sun Devils. You can follow me at Anthony underscore Totri. The dogs are out. You can follow the Deef and Deef and his hams at <laughs> Shane Deef. <laughs> Follow Sean to pause. Sean underscore to pause. The child of divorce is always. <laughs> oh my God. We'll see you tomorrow too. Bye. <laughs>